I tried using a program from 2007. There are currently six iterations of Vocaloid, and I hosted a stream to go back and try the first one I had ever used, Vocaloid 2. This video contains all the trials and tribulations of that stream, as well as some tips, because I remembered some stuff. Not a lot, but, but some stuff. <laughs> the year is 2007. Phineas and Ferb just aired its first episode. Portal Drama Island just aired its first episode. Neopets, Gaia Online, people had flip phones. They had Motorola Razors, I think. That part I did not, I'm not sure of. Maybe those were like 2009. I, that might've taken you out of it. I'm sorry, I apologize if it did. But still, the year is 2007. And on June 29th of 2007, a very dramatic thing happened. The movie Ratatouille was released. But at that same time, the Vocaloid 2 software saw its first release with none other than the incredible, the wonderful, you all know her, you all love her, the first ever Vocaloid 2, Sweet Anne. And then a few months later, on August 31st, Hatsune Miku was released. Yay! Woo! Let's see, what was I doing? In the summer of 2007, I was playing so much Sonic Adventure 2. Um, but I didn't get into Vocaloid until 2008, where I had a friend who asked me if I would like to join their DeviantArt roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> I only knew about Miku from random YouTube videos, and I, I was like, I don't know, I'll be... What's this yellow dude, this yellow guy with the funny hair? Len, I'll be him. Whatever, I don't care. I can't believe Circus was a Len RP here, that's crazy. I wasn't even a good one. Oh, uh, I remember there was someone who joined that group that was gunning to be Len. They like pushed me out. They like started rumor mills or whatever. They were like, isn't the current Len like not really good? Like, shouldn't we get someone else to be Len? You know, and then eventually they were like, you're not really good at Len, so we're gonna kick you out. And then the person who started those rumors, guess who they became? I'll never forget you, Ichigo. Not the name drop. <laughs> the name that every single 13 year old went by on DeviantArt. <laughs> Anyways, this is about Vocaloid 2. This isn't about my old role-playing days. We'll have another <laughs> we'll have another stream for that. But Vocaloid 2 was the biggest, probably the biggest version of the Vocaloid software. Almost every single character released on Vocaloid 2 has a lot long-lasting legacy. So that includes Tatsune Miku, Kagamine Rin, Kagamine Len, and Megurine Ruka, as well as Gakupo and Gumi, you know, six of the big Vocaloid 8. Kayuki, SFA2 Miki, the best one. It's really funny. I was looking up on the Vocaloid wiki and the Vocaloid wiki is a biased wiki. It's written by fans. It's not, and the information isn't hundred percent correct. You know, you should take every single thing on the Vocaloid wiki with a grain of salt. But I was looking at the Hatsune Miku page for her Vocaloid 2 voice bank specifically. And whoever wrote that must've been a Miki stan. Cause there's some lines that's like, Hatsune Miku was the most versatile voice bank of Vocaloid 2 until SFA2 Miki came around. Listen, I'm a Miki stan and you're not even right. Miku's on pitch more times than Miki is. Like, I love Miki, but we have to be honest about Miku's quality, okay? Her quality isn't probably better than Miku, if we're gonna be honest. <laughs> so this is the Vocaloid 2 interface. Can you see it? Can you see the Vocaloid 2 interface? Oh? You can't? You see some kind of something else that's interface? It's me. What we have before you is Vocaloid 2. Vocaloid 2 is the second iteration of the Vocaloid software. The jump from Vocaloid 2 to Vocaloid 3, 4, etc. is not that big. But the jump from Vocaloid 1 to 2 was massive. So this is what Vocaloid 1 looked like. You could customize the layout. I have Kaito's layout right now. This is Vocaloid 1. And for reference, Vocaloid 1 jumps to Vocaloid 2. And it looks like this. So 2007 was all about dark, edgy, making things look cool and sleek and you know it was the age of the scene kid so everyone was trying to be cool and shadow the hedgehog right v1 looks absolutely ancient while v2 still looks pretty modern i would kind of argue that v1 and v2 are the stylistic differences between y2k and whatever the late 2000s nostalgia is going to be called because y2k is all about the year 1999 to i would say 2003 right that futuristic, almost 60s mod style. Vocaloid 1's visuals very much look like that. Vocaloid 2 definitely has that scene kid, RAR XD, Toonami, you know, like late 2000s, 2007 
2009 kind of vibe. It's whatever the era is in between Y2K, but before like the 2012 Tumblr girl with the galaxy tights, you know? The reason it may look modern otherwise though is because they have not changed the UI that much. This has been kind of the standard. The silent generation. <laughs> I would argue that they were very loud. They were quite loud. It was all about being loud and auto-tuned. <laughs> I decided to test out Vocaloid 2 both in Japanese and English. For Japanese, I used the Hatsune Miku demo song O1 Ballad, also known as Hoshino Kakira. And for English, I used the song Daisy Bell. You'll see me switch between these two projects throughout the course of the video. That was Miku. But this song, this melody line, was to a lot of people the first ever time they heard Miku. Because O1 Ballad was her first demo. I wonder where Vocaloid would be if Hatsune Miku wasn't released. I don't think I would be here, obviously. I would have probably become a furry. If I'm being perfectly honest, that's probably where I would have gone. I was on the trajectory. I was really into Sonic the Hedgehog. I probably would have gone down that road. <laughs> There's nothing stopping you from being a furry now. I've gone on this weird ramp before. I know it sounds like denial, but it's true. I think maybe it's because at formative years of my life, I stopped being into characters like Crash Bandicoot and Sonic the Hedgehog and other furry characters and I focus on humanoid characters because now the aesthetics of humanoid characters I much prefer over furry characters like if I have a friend a mutual on Twitter who has because I'm multiple furry Utao users there's a lot of them they're at the forefront of English vocal synthesis they are creating the future honestly but what aren't the furries doing really they will release this furry Utao and I'm like oh they're pretty cute they sound great you know and then they'll be like oh by the way here's this like offshoot random like human design I did just for funsies on my furry Utao and I'm like oh <gasps> Oh my gosh, they look so much better. <laughs> you know? And it makes me realize, oh, that's for sure means that I'm not a furry, right? <laughs> We've come to the first Vocaloid 2 limitation that I forgot about. Vocaloid 2 only had one undo button. <laughs> if I hit Control Z, it undoes. And if I hit Control Z again, it redoes. I'm trying to hit Control Z so much and it's just undoing and redoing one thing that I did. It did not have more. It did not have any more undos. So this is almost a challenge in itself. I don't know what community I would have landed on, landed in if it weren't for Vocaloid. Oh yeah, I was on Sims forums online. I might have just stayed there for a while. I probably would have gotten into like so some niche Nintendo franchise. I probably would have been doing some Animal Crossing drama somewhere. I don't know. Tweeting out with like 50 followers being like, I have Raymond in boxes willing to sell for $47.59. You know, that's probably where I would be if it weren't for Hatsune Miku. I'd be right there. So, so Miku probably, you know, she probably, um, I'm probably better off having met Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Why is Miku attacking us? She's mad. She's mad at you. When was the last time you listened to a Hatsune Miku song, huh? What's the last thing that's on your Spotify playlist right now? What's in your YouTube history? How many of those recent videos are Miku related? She's mad. She's mad. Oh. <laughs> so say I wanted a legato on this soul. Like instead of soul, I want to like soul, you know? That would be two notes. I can make that two notes. With future iterations of Vocaloid, if you put this one here and then you do a dash, that would create a continuation of the previous sound. So for this sound, soul, that would just hold out the O sound right so whatever was said here it would just continue that with vocaloid 2 it reads what the last sound of the previous note was and it re-triggers that i suppose so it inputs it again which is a mild difference but it's a slight enough difference instead of going for example like so some voice banks go like so well you know because it, that transition between the sound would happen here that's not that big of a deal for japanese but when we get to tuning english Things that are called diphthongs. Guys, I'm trying so hard to make this easy to understand, but I'm, I'm losing you. I'm losing you. Come back. Come back. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. English has a lot of vowels that have multiple sounds in them, right? If you say way, the word way in future iterations of Vocaloid, if you do this thing right here where you extend it, the multiple notes will be like way, you know, it'll be like that. However, with Vocaloid 2, it would reintroduce that. It would be pronounced like way, yay. So if you wanted to do th this type of editing with English, it's not as viable. Long-winded way of saying Vocaloid 2 is archaic in many ways. So and if we do this, 
we get the legato like that what this type of tuning is where you do another note for whatever sound you want like if i wanted to go from this note to this note and i input an actual note vocaloid um users have dubbed this note bending because you are changing the pitches based on the notes you are also becoming like you know avatar the last airbender your avatar the last note bender you are bending the notes to your will you you, you, you powerful powerful moment however what i would do in vocally 2 is pitch bend editing down here there's also the pit for pitch bend and below it is pbs for public broadcasting station no no it's for it's for pitch bend sensitivity so the pitch bend determines when it is here the pitch does not shift from what is default by the voice bank you are using so like that's just flat miku right this is the lowest value and this is the highest pitch bend sensitivity will determine how many notes below and above this note this setting edits this is becoming like a tutorial of vocally too i'm just trying to explain as much as i can <laughs> so you get what i'm doing um but if you've ever wondered on how people would tune and especially how people tuned back in the day this is the software they used and this is the type of stuff they had to edit with so right now we have the pitch bend sensitivity set to 12. that means that at the lowest iteration this is at this note that means that octave below that would be this that means this note right here we have this pitch setting at the highest setting which will be 12 notes above this one so it would be this except it would be like this so if we play it it would be just like that sound goofy but so like that <laughs> another thing that a lot of people do especially for talkloids i never i've never watched that video of miku who hates british people is that a talkloid or is that just somebody voice acting but regardless those like tiktok hatsune miku talkloids they just set this to really high and they like make it go all, you know all around like that you know so that is how people do talkloids type in the words that you want the character to say and then most people just go like whoa, 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 you know that's how you get that quintessential goofy miku sound <laughs> and i erased everything i did because i was trying to undo over and over and over and i forgot vocally 2 has only one undo button i'm never gonna get over that i will never get over that i think that's why i switched the vocally 3 the second it was out because woof <laughs> vocally 3 is multiple undo <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. Daisy. She sounds so retro to me. It's so wild to hear how far vocal synth has come. You've never heard Untune Luca V2 before? Aw. This is OG Luca. This, that, this is completely unmixed, unedited. This is what she sounds like. I still get comments to this day on Circus Monster and anything that uses Luca V2 that's like, isn't this Gumi? It sounds like Gumi. It always astounds me. So doof. Give me your answer, doof. Whenever you guys say misheard lyrics, I always change it. Melons will never be toxic again, okay? I get enough comments about that. Whenever someone mentions a misheard lyric in a tuning stream, I change it. I change it. So the other thing that Vocally 2 has is it has breath phonemes, by the way. So I can do like BR1. I think Luca English has that, right? We should play this with another voice bank. So if I grab, say, Big Al, we could do Big Al, actually. You know what? Shoo. Huh. He jump scared me. <laughs> Big Al got me. <laughs> I just got Big Al. <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. We gotta turn these down, though. Huh. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. Huh. <laughs> I, I don't know if I would continue to use Vocaloid 2 for modern stuff because Vocaloid 3 at the very least has a lot of features that I enjoy a bit more. Vocaloid 2 to Vocaloid 3 feels like the last really big upgrade of a Vocaloid engine. It added quite a few features that were very useful. It's kind of funny. I find myself tuning in Vocaloid 3 a lot if I'm not using like a Vocaloid 5 or 6 voice bank. Even more so than Vocaloid 4 nowadays. But it was fun to go back to Vocaloid 2. Would I recommend people use this though? 
I suppose the big issue though is Vocaloid 2 is the last iteration of Vocaloid that is included with the Vocaloid voice bank. Vocaloid 3 and Vocaloid 4 are not officially available anymore ever since Vocaloid 5 came out. If you buy a Vocaloid 2 voice bank, this might be the only editor you have. If this was your only editor for these voice banks, weirdly it's not as bad as I remember. Other than the one undo button, other than the deformed like consonants, if you're doing this type of pitch bend tuning down here, you can get a very modern sounding tune from Vocaloid 2, I think. So, if this is your only option, I think it works pretty okay. I think it, I think it works pretty okay.